Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. I know you're used to seeing Roving Naturalist videos pop up on Thursday afternoons, but I wanted to remind you about a new project that I'm working on with some friends. Every other Monday evening over on Dungeon Dwellers channel on Twitch, you can see me and some friends playing Dungeons and Dragons, and it's a really fun time, so you should totally check it out. So I love playing Dungeons and Dragons. You probably already know that I'm a huge nerd, um, but I decided it would be super cliche for me to play a druid in this campaign because like the naturalist playing a druid like no duh um, so I'm not playing a druid however there are still a lot of like nature and environment questions that pop up as our party is moving through the natural environment right now we're walking through this ginormous swamp or wetlands or marsh area um, and so there's a lot of things to talk about with the environment so I thought it would be fun to make some shorter videos that would come out every Monday that would explain the answers to some of the questions that we ask during our campaign so the first question that came up in our campaign was how many trees does it take to make a forest? Uh, it seems like sort of a strange question but right now like I said our party is walking through this gigantic swamp and interestingly enough we've only seen like one tree so far that the DM described. Fun fact that I found out while I was researching this topic a swamp is an area of wet ground that is primarily dominated by large woody plants like trees so what we're walking through isn't actually a swamp because we've only seen one tree. Uh, what we're walking through would more accurately be called like a marsh or a wetlands because it's dominated by like shrubs and grasses and other things like that. But back to the question of what makes a forest, is it two trees or three trees? We've only seen one, but one of our party members suggested that maybe if we added a second tree, all of a sudden it would be a forest. Unfortunately, the definition of what makes a forest is a little complicated. You can get very different answers depending on who you talk to. You could ask what is a forest from an ecology perspective or from a political perspective or from a commercial land use perspective and the definition can differ between countries and even between um, you know ecosystems across latitude and longitudinal gradients uh, so it's kind of a complicated question on the bright side the food and agricultural organization of the United Nations has a quick and easy answer that I think I'm gonna go with so their definition for what makes a forest is an area of land that it's at least half a hectare so a whole hectare is about the size of the average sports field so half a sports field and uh, that area needs to have at least 10% tree canopy cover over it so half a hectare or half a sports field of land with at least 10% canopy cover from trees so that tells us how much canopy cover we need but it doesn't actually give us a number of like individual trees that we need in order to have a forest uh, so this is really cool um, but there's technically a single tree that could be considered a forest by itself it's called the Redwood Creek giant and it's out in California as you can probably guess with all of the other sequoias and giant redwoods and this tree is massive it has a diameter that can exceed 25 meters across so that would definitely that tree alone on half a hectare or half a sports field of land be a forest unto itself unfortunately I don't think our DM has populated our fantasy world with giant redwoods and sequoias and other trees like that um, so it's probably going to take more than just that one tree tree in order to constitute a forest. So how many more average sized trees on half a sports field do we need in order to achieve that 10% canopy cover? I did the math using some average or more common trees that you might find in North America that a lot of you might be familiar with, um, but if you're interested in figuring out what would constitute a forest for a different kind of tree from some other part of the world, maybe where you live, it's pretty easy. You might have to convert their diameter in feet to diameters in meters, but then it's pretty easy to figure out from there the square Square, um, area that it takes up over half a hectare and figure out if that's 10% or not. Uh, so my calculations figured out that if we were talking about average mature trees in Northern American forests, it would take about 50 mature red maples or about 60 mature white oaks uh, on half a hectare or half a sports field of land to constitute a forest. Um, so that means that there's kind of a lot. So across this marsh that it's going to take us about three weeks to travel on foot so that's like a lot of sports fields 
like a lot. Um, so that would be several thousand trees to make up the forest if it was a forest that we were walking through. So sorry, Crescent Moon, it sounds like we need more than two trees to make a forest. Um, so the swamp that we're walking through is actually a marsh because it doesn't have that many trees in it. Um, but you should definitely stay tuned to Dungeon Dwellers on Twitch every other Monday to see me and my friends as we traverse this crazy fantasy world that our DM is designing for us. And you can find me here every Monday with another one of these Nerding Naturalist videos where I'll explain some of the answers to the weird nature questions that we come up with while we're gaming. Uh, don't forget you can also stay tuned on here, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because regular Roving Naturalist videos come out every Thursday afternoon.